In this next video, we're going to continue reviewing and we're going to go over evaluating expressions. But before we jump into that, let's go over order of operations again. So when you hear order of operations, think PIMDAS. Remember, parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. That is the order that you complete operations. Let's also review variable and what a variable is. So a variable is a letter or symbol that represents a certain number. We can have x as our variable, An x in one instance can equal 2, but in a later expression or equation, x could equal negative 5. Remember that the variable is changing in different problems. So one problem you can have x equals 2, another problem you can have x equals negative 5, sometimes you'll use y's, a, b, c, and so on. A mathematical expression is like a statement. So if I was to say 3 minus 2, that's an expression. An algebraic expression is a mathematical statement that contains a variable. So an example of an algebraic expression could be b plus negative 5.3 or you could have x squared minus 2. Those are algebraic expressions because they contain a variable. So let's go ahead and evaluate an algebraic expression. The algebraic expression I'm going to use in this video will be the following. This is my algebraic expression. 5 plus a squared minus 4 over b. And I'm going to give you what your variables are equal to. a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 2. So what's our first step in evaluating this expression? First, we're going to want to plug in our variables into the expression itself. So we're going to have 5 plus a which a is equal to 1, so 5 plus 1 squared minus 4 over b, which is negative 2. Now we can evaluate it using the order of operations. So, what's first? Parentheses. We have one set of parentheses, and that's around the 5 plus 1. So we evaluate what's inside of the parentheses first. So 5 plus 1 is 6. So we're left with 6 squared minus 4 over negative 2. Next, we're going to evaluate the exponents. There's one exponent in this problem, which is the 2. So we're going to evaluate 6 squared. 6 squared is 36. So now we've evaluated our exponent. Next is multiplication and division. Remember, the order of multiplication and division doesn't matter. You just have to make sure you do those before addition and subtraction. For us, we only had division once in this problem, and that's with the fraction sign. This is 4 divided by negative 2. So we're going to evaluate that. So we're going to get 36 minus... 4 divided by negative 2 would be negative 2. However, when you subtract a negative, you're really adding the positive of that number. So this, instead of 36 minus negative 2, would be 36 plus 2. So now we've done our multiplication and division. So we're left 
with just addition. 36 plus 2 is 38. And we just evaluated our original algebraic expression, 5 plus a squared minus 4 over b. And that gave us the answer of 38 when a was equal to 1 and b was equal to negative 2. So expressions are used within equations. And equations contain an equal sign. An equation with a variable is known as an open sentence. If that equation represents a relationship such as an area or perimeter of a shape, then that equation would be known as a formula. But in order to solve equations, we must first go over some properties of real numbers, which I'll do in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.